Well, the book is written uh, for a general readership, so it should be uh, comprehensible, hopefully, to pretty much anyone. It doesn't, um, it doesn't require any uh, knowledge about the early church or late antiquity or the period in general at all, uh, as much as possible. So, um, so I think it would be good uh, as an introduction to the period, basically, or to the general topic. Um, some of the things it focuses on, uh, well, actually one of the main things it focuses on is um, the development of ideas. Uh, so the development of Christian doctrine and ideas about Christian behaviour as well, and lifestyle, uh, from the time of Jesus and, well, the New Testament um, period, um, all the way to the transformation of both the Roman Empire and the Christian Church, um, when the Empire adopted the Church. So um, a theme like that, I think, is worth focusing on uh, if the book were to be used as a study aid. Um, and it's got, a, it's got a fairly comprehensive bibliography of further reading for all of the, um, divided up by chapters, for all the particular themes and the, uh, the important figures who are mentioned in it. Um, people like um, Justin Martyr, Irenaeus, Origen, Tertullian, St Augustine, um, all people like that. Uh, so I, I'd see it as a, um, it could be a, uh, a sort of central text um, for people who are being introduced to that period, uh, but could also be used as a sort of springboard for looking more deeply into some of those issues, some of those particular theologians perhaps.